Hey guys, so we finally have enough new figures and enough changed opinions to make a video that we're gonna do an updated version of my ranking of all the Funko FNAF action figures. So, yeah, it should be, um, it should be, um, let's just, let's just, let's just move on. So as the number one worst FNAF figure, we're on number one of the list, we got Easter Bonnie. This figure is, it's, it's bad. It's, it's just bad. I, I, I don't, okay, I, I, if people like this figure, that's fine, okay? You can like this figure. I don't, okay? Like, the paint job on the face looks horrific, it's just like, horrific. Um, there's no tag on his ear, he's just a straight repaint of Bonnie. Um, he's just kind of a bad figure, and honestly, my in my opinion, the worst exclusive Funko has ever done. Next up on the worst list, number two, we got Toxic Spring Trap. It's not really the fact that this figure is anything like best. Like, everything this figure does wrong was also done wrong on the original Spring Trap. It's just the audacity that they had like six years to fix their Spring Trap mold. And not only did they not, they managed to make it worse. And I really just Funko's the only company that does this. Okay, the glow effect's pretty cool though. Now this ranking, this next ranking, it's not gonna seem very fair, and that's because it isn't. Um, next you got L Chip. I don't know how he ended up here. I just had nowhere else to put him on the list, and then I decided to put him at number three on the worst section because this figure. Okay, the sombrero is cool. That's it. Besides that, I don't really think he looks like El Chip whatsoever. He just... He, something's off about him, and it kind of disturbs me. Next up, on, we got Glamrock Freddy. This figure... I mean, like... Okay, this figure gets points off, even more points off than the other Security Bridge figures. Because, as the statue shows us, Funko was perfectly capable of making a Glamrock Freddy mold. They just didn't. And... They, it's just, they, d Funko, come on. Next up, we got Glamrock Chica. This figure is, um, okay, the body is pretty much perfect. Like, nothing wrong with the body, but the face. Oh my god, the face. Next up, we got Vanny, who is a, I mean, at least they made a new sculpt, but still, same situation as Freddy. The statue proved that they literally... They could have made a good Vanny sculpt. They just didn't. And it's real. It sucks. It sucks. Next up on the list is High Score Chica. Um, again, this is one of the similar situation to El Chip. Um, I don't know how this really ended up here on the list. It just kind of, I didn't know where else to put it. And this figure, it's, I don't like it. I don't, this is another figure. Like, there's nothing inherently bad about it. Besides the lazy paint job. But, like, nothing inherently bad about it. I'm just, like something's off something's off and i don't like how it looks it's just like one of those like disturbing kind of things that are off about it cupcake's cool though next up we got rockstar freddy this figure gets so much praise and i don't know why he looks like a donkey instead of a bear like something really went wrong with the head mold in this figure and i have no idea what went wrong he just doesn't really look like rockstar freddy to me next up we got lefty who is similar he's basically the same figure except i really like his color scheme i love lefty i don't really care that he's holding his mic in the wrong hand anymore i used to be bothered by it now i don't really care um i just think this is a better figure than rockstar freddy next we got funtime foxy but from wave two this version of funtime foxy the the eyelashes look like eyebrows but besides that it's a fine figure nothing really wrong with it it's just the fact that we got this thing instead of nightmare fredbear Next up, we got Montgomery Gator. This figure, I don't know, something about him, I just like him. He's definitely not accurate, but I will say he's my favorite out of Security Breach figures, just because he's just, he's just a Chad. He looks like a Chad, you know? Then next up, we got Roxanne Wolf. And this figure, you may be wondering how the, why this figure is higher than Monty. Well, body, sim similar to Chica, the body's basically perfect. Um, the hair is the worst hair sculpt I've ever seen on any figure ever. But this figure does get tremendous points for being the only Funko figure that has ever done eyelashes right. Next up, we got Grim Foxy. This figure, they reused Nightmare Foxy's head mold, which is inaccurate because Grim, Fox, Grim Foxy is a completely different base from Nightmare Foxy. Um, 
the paint job's kind of terrible, like the translucent plastic looks bad, and yeah, just not a huge fan of this figure. He's, he, the posing is cool, but I really don't like anything else about him. Next up, we got Jack O'Bonnie, who is same situation as Grim Foxy, but they did add the lighter accents on his face and stuff, and I do think he looks a bit better than Grim Foxy. Not a whole lot better, but I do kind of, I do like him more, although the freaking can opener in his torso bothers me. Next up, we got Chocolate Bonnie. This figure, I don't know, he's just like, he looks more like a dark Chocolate Bonnie. His eyes are like purple. The colors of the buttons kind of off. I don't know. He's just not the best. Next up, we got Ennard. This is the most overrated figure Funko has ever made. This figure gets so much, like, undeserved credit, honestly. Like, I don't like, okay, his face doesn't really look good to me like i don't like his face he has no like protruding wires on his body um his hat is his hat paint is super lazy um this is just kind of a mediocre figure honestly he's also really short and i don't know i just don't really like him that much ennard's not one of my favorites whatsoever i will say though he's um the the, the wires the wires look really good I just wish there were some protruding wires on him. Next up, we got Nightmarion. Basically a perfect sculpt, but this figure can't stand, so it, it it can't really be ranked very high. Next up, we got Nightmare Chica. This figure, it's good. It's got a lot of detail. I do like all the details. It looks very good, Same, especially the cupcake. I love the cupcake, especially the legs too. The exposed endo on the legs look great. It's just like... The head mold on this figure really just doesn't look like Nightmare Chica to me. Like, it's a bit too squished and stuff. The head should be taller. But, again, this isn't really a bad figure. It's just kind of my preferences. I don't really like it that much. Although, there is a lot of details on it that I do like. Next up on the list, we got Chocolate Chica. This is a character that doesn't exist. But I do think the Chica mold has been slightly updated for this figure. And I think it looks a lot better than it did on the original Chica figure. Um, that being said, I don't think it's better, and I can't rank it very high because this character doesn't exist. Next up, we got Chocolate Freddy. Same design principles as Ch Chocolate Chica, good paint job and stuff. Um, he's just kind of the cooler version. Next up, we got Shamrock Freddy, who, um, he's just kind of like, he's just kind of there. I mean, he's, he's a bit ugly, he's a bit gross looking, he's covered in poop. But I guess the detailing on him is cool, though. He does have a lot of good detail, and I'm not going to rank him too low because I don't think he really deserves it. Next up, we got Springtrap, who is one of Funko's most iconic figures. He was their first buildable, um, first detailed figure, really. And I don't think he's that bad. Again, he was their first attempt, so I'm not going to give him too much like hate because he's not that awful. But the re-release Springtrap, at least the one that I have, has a nearly perfect paint job. And seeing this figure shine at its full potential really shows, like, it's better than I would usually think it is. He would be way lower if I didn't have such a good-looking one in my collection. But yeah, just because of this figure, I really, I, just because of the re-release, I really like this one. Next up, we got Orville Elephant. Um, Orville's always just had, like, kind of a dopey, cute-looking face, kind of. Um look kind of clueless he's like a i don't know he's just kind of dumb looking but this figure is the scariest thing i've ever seen in my life next up we got ballora um ignore jim carrey in the background we got ballora here and honestly not too bad i mean this figure is good it's just kind of like um just not the biggest fan of it i don't know next up we got Lolbit. this figure is very rare very valuable very happy to have it um i do like the figure i like the colors they chose and stuff i like how it has a hook i do like this figure and i appreciate a lot about it but you know there is eyebrows there that can't be ignored that shouldn't be there and also the paint job just isn't very good next up we got bonnie um just classic regular old bonnie his guitar is great. Don't know how they got away with that since the guitar is copyrighted. So I don't know how Funko still makes those, but oh well. His, um, the only thing that really takes away from this figure is the upper teeth look kind of terrible. And I think his eyes are a bit too small. Next up, we got Funtime Foxy. Um, ranked higher than Lulbit just because this is a better figure. 
Um, the paint job's good, besides the eyes, the eyes look off, but honestly, I don't, this figure is a little off model in the face area, but I don't think it's a bad figure at all. Next up, we got Nightmare Foxy, who is a very accurate figure. Um, he just needs a little more detail on the inside of his torso, but besides that, he's basically perfect. I mean, I can't really think of anything wrong with him. I'm just not a big Nightmare Foxy fan. Next up, we got Classic Foxy, who... There are two versions of him. There's the re-release with the dark red, then there's the original release with the light orange. I do think the dark red version looks better, but both versions are fine figures. They're both pretty dang good. I really like the Foxy figure. He's good. Um, the jaw's a bit too thin, though. Next up, we got Rockstar Foxy. I'm not sure what it is. This figure just has a really appealing sculpt, um, and I really like it. He also has a golden star instead of yellow, which is um, interesting because Rockstar Freddy didn't have that, but he is a really good figure. I do like him a lot. He's not perfectly on model, but I do think he looks good. Next up, we got Pig Patch. This figure, there's nothing wrong with him. His proportions are great. Um, the little pigtail's fine, it's fun, you know, it's a fun figure. Not a character that I really like, but the figure's cool. Next up, we got VR Freddy. Perfect, immaculate sculpt, just beautiful, beautiful sculpt. And it's really just dragged down by a really bad and poorly done paint job. Next up, we got System Error Bonnie. Again, amazing sculpt, a little less good than VR Freddy but it's made up for by the paint job actually being there and honestly i like this figure a lot this figure is good i think the proportions are definitely one of my favorite parts about it i don't know i just really like it next up we got nightmare body this is my second favorite out of the nightmare figures i love the three segmented ears the torso withering the head being ripped open i think the white eyes actually work a lot of people don't like that but i actually do I'm not sure why they did it, but I do think it- I do see why they did it, because I've seen people who have, like, painted it black, and it looks definitely off. Um, yeah, I like this figure a lot. Next up, we have... Scrap Baby. So, you may be wondering why this figure is so low. Um, it's really just my personal opinion. I think this figure, similar to Ennard, it's overrated, but not because of a lack of detail. Because Ennard didn't, Ennard was, Ennard did have a lack of detail that I didn't like. But this figure is very detailed. The arms and the legs and the head especially look great. The torso is a bit basic though. Um, it's just kind of like the black gaping hole in the middle doesn't really do it for me. And I really just don't like how they did the eyes at all. And the nose is just kind of like flat and the nose is flat and it looks kind of off. I don't know. Something about this figure's face just doesn't sit right with me. And also the head is way too big for Scrap Baby. Next up, we got Classic Chica. This is my first FNAF figure ever. And I have a lot of nostalgia for it. And I really like it. I think everything on this figure is good. I Besides the upper teeth, obviously, and the orange eyes, they should be purple. But honestly not a bad figure at all. I don't really have anything interesting to say about it. I just really like this figure. Next up, we got Jacko Chica. Um, I don't know why this is so much higher than Nightmare Chica. I just, um, Jacko Chica is like my fourth favorite FNAF character, and I am a huge fan of this figure. Um, the glow in the dark is also pretty cool. Next up, we got Glitch Trap. Just great figure, honestly. This, the joints obviously are terrible, but be the joints are made up for by a pretty much perfect perfect sculpt. Just nothing wrong with it. Next up, we got Livewire Freddy, who has my favorite sculpt. One of my favorite sculpts Funko has ever done. I love him a lot. He is really, really good. He's got all the little, like, what, circuit tree and all over him. He's just a better version of VR Freddy. And I love the red color, too. He just looks really good to me. And I've been waiting for a Toy Freddy figure forever, and he's the closest thing I have right now, and I really like him. Next up, we got Captain Foxy. This figure is perfect. The, the coat looks great. The Foxy mold looks even better than before. Um, the endo, everything, the hat, just everything. This figure just comes together very, very nicely. Next up, we got Classic Freddy. This figure's iconic. Of course, the hat strap, 
and the upper teeth bother everybody. But really, I'm not gonna give this figure too much, like, like points off. This was the first figure Funko ever made, and he looks pretty dang good for being that. Next up, we got Golden Freddy. Um, don't know why he's higher than Classic Freddy, I just kind of like him more, and I'm a big Golden Freddy fan, so, yeah. Next up, we got Freddy Frostbear. This takes the Freddy sculpt and fixes everything that was wrong with it and more. This is just a very, very good figure. Next up, we got Funtime Freddy. Basically, a perfect sculpt. Nothing's wrong with him. His hat's too big. That's his only issue. So, yeah, pretty good figure. Next up, we got Nightmare Freddy. This is one of my favorite sculpts Funko has ever done. I'm just a really, really big fan of everything this figure did. He just looks really good to me. I'm not really sure. I just really, really like him, and I also have a lot of nostalgia for him. He was one of my favorites back in the day. And I just I like him a lot. He's really good. And he also comes with, an, with a little freddle. And finally, the number one pick, Dreadbear. This figure is amazing. The sculpt is perfect. Everything is perfect about him. Literally, he he's so detailed. Like, this is the most detailed figure Funko's ever done. And the fact that it was in a wave with Grim Foxy and Jack Obani just, like, shocks me how this is from the same wave. They put all the budget into him. They put all the budget in the Dreadbear. And he looks great. His endo is so, like, in-depth and detailed in the torso. It looks so good. The stitching and everything, the black washing is perfect. I'm just a super big fan of this figure. Um, I don't really care that he's, like, a minty color. Like, yeah, it's off, but I don't think it looks bad. Like, things can be off without it looking bad, and I think the mint color is definitely a case of that. I don't know. I'm just a really, really big fan of this figure. And that's gonna conclude the ranking. Hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. That is every Funko figure ranked. Hey guys, so, um, popping in editing, um, I forgot to include Baby in the video, so, um, that figure's pretty good. I don't know, probably around, like, the middle point I'd rank it, maybe, like, in the, th in the third quarter, um, of the list. Um, I, I, uh, why can't I make a list without forgetting things.